Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Fraggle Rock playing cards from the Spare Room and the United States Playing Card Company. All right, so you don't know what Fraggle Rock is. Uh, it's a TV show from a while back. It's a British American Canadian children's live action puppet television series about this uh, interconnected society of Muppets, of course, created by Jim Henson. Uh, the Fraggles, they're kind of a short, furry creature. They live a carefree existence in a complex network of magical caves. And when they're not filling their time, either playing games or singing songs or dancing their cares away, <laughs> uh, Gobo, Moki, Red, Wembley, and Boober Fraggle seek to uh, find uh, just life advice from Marjorie, who's the trash heap. And then they kind of work around the constructions of the doozers and they attempt to stay clear of the giant uh, puppets that live outside known as the Gorgs. All right, so that's a little bit about Fraggles. Now, what is the Spare Room? The Spare Room is an elegant, old-timey cocktail lounge and game parlor with polished wood bowling lanes and classic games located in the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. So the Spare Room put out this deck of cards devoted to Fraggle Rock and their 30th anniversary. And if you'd like to learn more about this, you can visit spareroomhollywood.com. The front of the tuck case is done in a matte green with a gold foil. Across the top, it does say Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock, playing cards, 30th anniversary. And then the SR in the spade pip, of course, means spare room. Uh, one side says made under the USA, and the other side says Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock. The bottom has some ad copy about the spare room. The top looks like it might say Jim Henson, and then there is a custom tuck seal of a radish. Uh, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The tongue flap uh, is part of the song lyric from uh, the show's theme song, which is dance your cares away, worry for another day, let the music play down at Fraggle Rock. No, I will not be singing it for you, but that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on a casino grade finish. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed. And if you would like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Now, a lot of people will always ask me how these cards feel, how they handle. Best thing I can do is put them in a caliper and give you a scientific measurement. Uh, and you can use that number and base it off of other decks that you've held or owned, just to give you a better idea of how they might feel in your hands. Uh, when I stick 10 of these into the caliper, the measurement comes to 2.84. 2.84 is about uh, the same measurement as the Wasteland deck that Bicycle put out, as well as the old school Hornets number six. The back design is a full bleed all the way to the edge. However, it does have a border. So it is a dark green border and then on the inside you're going to see just a bunch of concentric line works and then a repeated image top and bottom of a radish. Uh, the radish is one of the favorite foods of the Fraggles and there's a lot of radish jokes in the show when you watch it. With this deck you're going to get two ad cards, um, both of which talk a little bit about the spare room and the 30th anniversary of the Fraggles. On the other side uh, you're going to get a little bit of information about uh, the Jim Henson show and then you're going to get a like uh, an, a drink card that uh, is a mixing drink uh, that you could, you know, ingredients wise make your own Fraggle favorite drink. Yeah. Your Ace of Spades is very simple. It does simply have the spade pip from the tuck box with the SR for spare room. Underneath that, it says quality playing cards, the spare room for Fraggle Rock. Your pips and indices, for the most part, are completely standard. They are, of course, custom, but uh, they're instantly recognizable, which makes them perfect for gameplay and flourishing. Your court cards are very cute and very stylized after the characters from the Fraggle Rock show. They are two-way images, and they are done in a cartoon uh, drawing that is reminiscent of Jim Henson and uh, his creative works. With this deck, you'll also get two original Jokers, both of which depicting characters from Fraggle Rock. One, I believe, is the dog, uh, but I don't remember what the dog's name is. And then the other one is the trash heap. All right, so that is my review of the Fraggle Rock 30th Anniversary Edition playing cards from the Spare Room in Hollywood and the United States Playing Card Company. A special shout out for my secret Santa who got me this deck uh, when I was unable to obtain it for myself. 
Like I said, if you want more information about this, you can visit spareroomhollywood.com. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.